I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. Alright, so today we're going to paint the Pisgah Cover Bridge in the snow. So a cover bridge in the snow. Let's start out by grabbing like a huge brush. It's like a number one and dry it off and we'll grab some really light blue, like a really pale blue, a wintertime blue. And we'll start by throwing a layer all over the front. So just grab a bunch and go for it. And don't worry like what direction or anything because we're going to come back and throw trees and the streaks will kind of make it look good. have like a good layer all over the front just as long as you got all your white covered and it doesn't matter like which direction anything goes so we'll just wipe that one off and chunk that brush in the water and we're gonna let it dry for just a second all right let's once we have our blue background let's grab like a number six or number eight size brush and dry it off and we're gonna throw on like the base of our bridge. So I'm gonna start with like a little bit of dark brown and dark gray together. And I'm gonna skip in just a smidge from my back right hand edge of my canvas and then skip up like at least six inches or so. And I'm gonna throw a little line that leans down And then, so that'll be like the bottom of our bridge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little line right here off the right hand side of it. Throw it up for just like three inches or so. And then off the top, I'm gonna throw another line. And this one's just gonna kind of barely lean up. Because of perspective, it's gonna be bigger right here. So I'll throw it up just a little bit and connect it to the back side. And then I'll go ahead and throw my little slant right here for the opening of it. And then I'm gonna, let's see, let's go ahead and hop up here to the top and add our little peak. It's our little roof line. So you're just gonna throw kind of like the little top of a triangle, but it can come down just a little bit further on the left. And then we'll throw it right after you get like the triangle and have it come down a little bit further. Then just throw a little line over to the right for just like an inch. And then we'll just do a little line that parallels the right hand side. And we'll go ahead and throw a little line right here too because that'll be like the little top part of our bridge. And then for the opening, our little walkway, we'll kind of take it, start from inside there 
and we'll throw it all the way off the edge. And then we'll throw a little lean too. Let's go ahead and start filling stuff in just so y'all have a little bit filled in. So we'll use the dark brown and the dark gray. And let's go ahead and fill in the whole side of our bridge just to get a little bit of paint on there. So we can start getting our bearings. And we'll come back later and make it look more like the wood. And then we'll go ahead and fill in like the little top part with those same two colors just to get a little layer on that. While you still have those same two, let's skip down to like the bottom of our bridge right here. I'm going to do a bumpy little line because we're going to kind of pile our snow up on here later. So I'm going to throw a bumpy little line right there coming out of the bridge for part of our walkway. And so go ahead and fill that in with some of those colors too just to get a little layer of paint. And then we'll do the same thing for the little walkway because our snow will be piled right here. So let's throw another little line that kind of leans down towards the bottom left. And then now let's throw like our little stacks of rocks on there. So I would skip in just a little bit from the left hand side of the opening. And we're going to throw a bumpy little line that leans down for just like an inch and a half or so. So it leans down to the right. And then we'll just bump it back over to the left and then we'll just kind of bump it back down there to the corner and fill all that in just to get some paint on there. And now we'll add our other little stacks of rocks. So I would skip over just a smidge and throw you a bumpy little line that goes down. And then we'll let it lean down to, like because it would be kind of going down the bank. And then we'll skip over just a smidge and you can kind of bump this side out and then bring it back in and we'll fill that in. And we're still gonna add another stack of rocks right here, but I'd go ahead and do your one on the end first. That way we get it on there. So hop in just a smidge from the edge and throw a bumpy little line down for just like an inch and a half. And these rocks will kind of be covered. There'll be more snow over here. So we can just kind of brush a little bit of paint to the right. And then you should have an opening right here. So now we'll kind of throw that next little pile of rocks in there. So skip over a smidge from that one and we'll just bump a little line down and then skip over. And then you can do like a little bumpy line right at the bottom too. And then go ahead and fill that in. All right, so we got some paint on all of our parts of our bridge except for our little opening. So let's grab a little bit of the dark brown with a little bit of black for that because there's going to be a shadow. So this part's going to be like your darkest part of your bridge. So you want to make sure you have just a little bit of like black and dark brown together. And we're going to fill in that whole opening. And if you have trouble getting like the smooth line, we can come back later and add more paint to it.
All right, so now we have our opening. So now there'll be a shadow in between all your little piles of rocks too. So go ahead and add like a little bit of dark in between it, all that. So you don't want to leave any space just because it's dark in between there. So we have the first part. Let's even grab a little bit more black, add a little bit more while it's wet. It didn't look quite dark enough for me. You can always come back and... All right, so we have the first part of our bridge on there. Let's go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab a teeny tiny brush or a number four, whichever one you're more comfortable like doing small stuff with. I'm more of a number four gal, so I'll grab that, but you could use that number one too. So grab the number four and dry it off and we'll grab a little bit of white. And we're just gonna throw like a little placeholder for our roof to kind of start above that peak over there and we're gonna throw it all the way down to the back side of our bridge. So this is just like a little placeholder. I'm not gonna try to throw the white on there right now since our brown is still super wet. All right, so we have our little placeholder on there, so then I'll just kind of wipe that one off so you don't have to rinse it out, just kind of wipe it off and grab some more of the dark brown. And now we're gonna throw a few trees, so a few bare trees. So like over here on the back side, I want some that kind of start on the bank and come up so I can have them like starting at different heights. But you just wanna be real light and loosey-goosey so kind of light and piecey. And definitely don't go over any of your lines more than once. But we'll kind of have a bunch of trees over here. And then let's throw some that come off of the roof. So they're really like behind the bridge. So you just, you don't wanna skip any space between your white and that. And throw some, cause these are kinda behind there. All right, so we're still using the teeny tiny brush and the dark brown. And we're gonna keep throwing some trees. Like you're gonna have some behind there. Let's have a few that come in from the top. those trees. Let's go ahead and wipe that one off. Chunk it in the water. All right, so now let's grab, we need a clean, like a number eight or something is good, and dry it off and we'll grab some bright white and we'll go ahead and throw a layer in through our roof just to get a layer of snow going on up there. Because we can always come back and thicken it up if we need to too.
our roof thickened up. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit of snow at the bottom too. So grab a bunch of white and we're gonna start all the way at the very bottom because you don't want it to look like you just skipped up in there with snow. And we're gonna throw a bunch of white, but kind of start at the very bottom and then work your way up. We'll even throw just like a little bit of snow in between our little trees over here too. Kind of giving the impression that you're a little bank. And don't worry that you can kind of see the brown through it. We'll just take it all the way up to the edge and then we'll throw a little bit of white right here too on our walkway. So right here at the bottom, we'll leave it kind of straight. And then at the top, it's gonna to be a little bit more wiggly just because that's where the little snow drifts kind of into the corner of your bridge, kind of into the opening. And then let's throw like a little bit more Got that pretty good. Then let's just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab a teeny tiny brush and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some more white. And we're gonna throw a little bit of snow over here on the edge of our roof. So it's kind of piled on that left hand side too. So it'll just be a little sliver of white. And then keep the white on your brush and now we're gonna hit all of our trees too. And whenever you're doing this, I would just kind of like throw a little bit like to the right hand side of all the trees. much white there. Got real snowy. And then just keep doing that kind of to the right hand side of or just so it's sitting kind of right on top of all your branches. So all these over here that are kind of coming in from the side, you just want it to kind of look like the snow sitting on top of them. Let's go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab like a number four and dry it off. And we'll grab some of the lighter browns together. So grab some of the lighter ones and now we're gonna skip to our little stacks. And just to kind of give the impression of rocks, you just wanna do some little horizontal little dashes. So we're just gonna throw those little dashes through all those little stacks. 
and you even want them kind of hanging off the edge just a little bit. And then while you have some of the light colors on your brush, let's skip up right here and we'll throw just a little bit of light through there because then we'll add a dark streak to kind of separate it. And then we'll grab some dark gray and some tan and some dark brown and we're going to add some streaks through this side of our bridge. So whenever you're adding these streaks, you want to kind of go straight up and down, so vertical streaks. Sometimes it helps to like throw a little line at the bottom and then kind of streak up from that. And the same thing from the top. Maybe somewhere like throw you a little line near the top and kind of streak down from that. And kind of skip around with your streaking. I'm even going to grab like a little bit of light gray with it too. Because the more streaks, the better. But just make sure you have some from the top, some from the bottom. Get some near your edges over here. And then we'll throw a few streaks up here through the top part. And we'll throw a few streaks through our little ramp too. So you don't really want to paint it in solid. You just kind of want to get some streaks going on. All right, let's go ahead and now take some dark brown and black again, mostly dark brown. And we're going to add some streaks going up and down through this part just to get it. You still want to leave it dark, but And then we can kind of go over our little lean to part again. All right, let's go ahead. And while you have the dark brown and black on your brush, now we're going to add our little supports on top of our little rock sections. So you'll just start by drawing like a little straight line and then a little diagonal. And we're going to add snow like to the top of these so you don't have to make them that wide as wide as the rocks because we'll come back and like so it'll kind of look like snow sitting on our little supports and then once you have a straight line on each one just throw your little diagonal down and we'll do that for all of our little rock supports even this one on the edge. All right, and then while you have that dark on your brush, I would add just a few dark rocks. Not nearly as many as we did with the other color, but just a few. And then maybe just a few dark streaks. go ahead and throw like a little piece over here for our overhang. So while you have that dark, just grab a little bit more of the black with it. And now we're going to add our little windows. So I would start by skipping in a little bit from the opening and throw a line straight down. And then we'll throw a line that goes all the way to the back. So it kind of gets more narrow as you go back. So you want to go to that back right hand corner. And then once you have that, we'll just fill in that whole section. with some dark. All 
right, then we can just wipe that one off and go ahead and grab some of the lighter browns together. And let's add a few rocks with that color. Kind of the more caramels and the tans. So you're just doing the little dashes for your rocks. And if this part didn't get streaky enough earlier, we can kind of streak back in with that too. Just so it doesn't look like it's painted solid. You want it to kind of look more like wood so it looks good to have some streaks. All right, let's see what other, let's grab a little bit of the gray and the browns and maybe throw you a, a few more rocks while we're, while we're rocking. And then maybe a little bit more of the caramel and gray so that you have a few lighter streaks through the side. Because it's probably going to dry a little bit darker than it goes on. And then once we have that, let's just wipe that one off. Let's grab a little bit more um, the black, kind of, and throw just some of that through the middle of all of your little shadows just to get them darkened up. You don't have to get right up next to the rocks, but just so we have them dark enough. And then we'll wipe that one off, chunk it in the water. And grab the teeny tiny brush and dry it off. And now we're gonna grab kind of like our bridge color. So like grays and browns. And we're gonna add our little window, like the little dividers. So for that part, they're gonna start off bigger and as you go back, it'll get they'll get a little closer together because of perspective. So we'll jump back like an inch and throw a line going straight up and down. And then you'll jump, you know, another inch and another one. And then you can have them gradually start getting a little bit closer. Okay, so now we have the impression of windows there. So we'll just wipe that one off, chunk it in the water. So now let's grab like a number four size brush, kind of rinse it out and dry it off. And we'll grab a little bit of light blue again. And we'll skip over here to the opening and we're just gonna throw a line straight across. Because of perspective, you kind of want it to be straight. So you don't want to angle it. And it doesn't go all the way, just kind of start it from the opening and then just take it over for a couple inches. And then once you get that little line, you can thicken it up a little bit. But you might want to use like a teeny tiny brush for this. Sometimes I think I make things more difficult than they have to be, but so you could use like a number one. But once you have that on there and have it thickened up, so it's kind of like a little rectangle. It just runs into the edge. We'll let that dry for a second and then we can come back and divide it and make it more like the windows. All right, so we have that on there. We'll swipe that one off and rinse it out and try it off. And let's grab some more bright white and now we're gonna add our snow on all of our little supports. So right on top of all the supports, we're gonna throw some snow and don't be like too perfect with it cause snow will look a little bumpy probably. So just grab a lot of paint on your brush and we'll start by just throwing it on top of all those supports first. And then once you have that, we'll kind of take it down like right here. I'm probably gonna pile a little bit more snow. So I'm just gonna kind of continue it onto the bank and then kind of throw just a little bit off of it. All right, and while we have that, let's grab more white and throw another layer in through our roof. 
while we have that white on our brush just to get it good and thickened up. got that white thickened up. Let's go ahead and wipe that one off, chunk it in the water, and grab a teeny tiny brush again. So you want to grab the teeny tiny and dry it off and grab some bright white. And now just kind of towards the right hand side of all of our little rocks, that's where the snow would kind of fall on the top of a few rocks. So we're just going to do like a few little dashes. Just try to be I maybe made that a little too perfect, so I might have to go back and mess them up just a little bit. But kind of the faster you do it, probably the better, so you don't get too perfect with it. Because these look a little too even spaced. And then we'll do the same thing like it would hit on a few of these rocks through the middle. And then while you have that white on the teeny tiny, if you wanted to kind of brush it up in the edge of your bridge. Kind of you know how snow blows and kind of gathers. kind of through the edge. All right, so then we'll kind of wipe off our extra and we'll chunk that one in the water or kind of rinse it out and dry it off. All right, so we'll grab the teeny tiny brush again, just kind of rinse it out, dry it off, and let's grab some dark brown and black. And now we're gonna separate our windows over here through the opening. So kind of just skip in like an inch or so and throw you a line, then skip in another inch or so. And just keep doing that. Don't worry if you end up with more or less windows than me. And then if you needed to straighten up the bottom, you can use that teeny tiny brush in those dark colors to kind of straighten it up. So we got the windows kind of straightened up. Just looking to see if we need to add any more. Like if anything, maybe we'll add a little bit more snow to our supports. Just kind of through the middle. we have it good and snowy. So, so we'll go ahead now and just use that teeny tiny brush and whatever color you want. And don't worry if your bridge is lighter or darker because depending on the light I mean I've seen it look lighter and darker. Let's go ahead now. I know I signed it, but we'll do one last thing. We'll kind of straighten out those windows at the top. Use like a number six and dry it off. And we'll grab some more of the, like mostly dark brown, but you can use some dark gray too. Let's go ahead and just where it looks a little, where it got a little wavy. And then I'm just gonna streak down from that in a few places. That's good. Okay, so we'll wipe that one off, chunk it in the water. Now you have the Pisgah covered bridge in the snow. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. 
And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.